I will bless you with a female child. But not without a price. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I disappeared for like five days. But um I'm back and this week I'm going to be talking about another Eureka movie titled OBA The Comforter. Mother, I do not want to eat this anymore. I want what father is having. Obi. Father. Please, it's okay. My jewel. All right. But before you go, I want the meat in his food. Why? Um, why don't you allow your father to enjoy this? Mother, it is my command. Obiad Comforter, the movie, is featuring Chelsea Eze, Ernesto B, Yukiri Anonobi, Akachi Nochirim, Kenneth Okuli. This movie... <sighs> Let me try and explain what happened. So, um, Yukiri Anonobi was looking for a child. And, I mean, she was barren for the longest of times and she wanted a child. On eventually... Please ignore the background noise, guys. On eventually getting the child, she had to do so much just to keep that child. Um, it was slightly hard. The daughter would send her on very weird errands. A good thing was she had a very good bond with her husband. And the bond that she had with her husband, she it was weird that she had to pick her daughter over her husband. Like A child is supposed to bring joy into the family and not sadness. There were so many things I can tell you I liked about the movie. But most of all, I feel like the movie tugged at my heart too much. Like, I felt so bad for you, Keria, in the movie. It's like, you want to be a mother so much that people keep calling you Barry, and you want to be a mother so much that you will literally do just anything to have a child. Do anything to keep your child. Do anything to make your child happy. Like, the part where she said, she said, if spoiling my daughter will be the end of me i am willing to take that risk i was like ha how oh, my suffered ah no 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 you pay me shall not lie you pay me i thought it was a really really nice movie now don't get me wrong you will see the flaws you can catch the flaws in the movie like at the end when she was pregnant that you what is that belly like <laughs> the belly looked very very hilarious Hey God, uh, they are out for my movie, trust me. I think I'm going to have to go outside that. Do not forget what I told you about your parents. And do not forget what my stance was. Bobby, take this water. Drink it. Finish it. Now. You went to the stream, you risked your life, and this child says she will not drink the water. She will drink it. Yeah, she will drink it tomorrow. She will drink it. She will drink it tomorrow. I'll give the water. Ah! I loved, loved, loved this movie. I won't even lie to you. And I liked it for so many reasons. First, it just um, spoke about how, you know, how a mother's love is. There was a part where Yukira said, if me spoiling my daughter will be the end of me, then I'm willing to bear that cross. And I was like, what? What? Nah, it was, it was really touching for me to watch. Then, you know, she kept doing odd things just to keep her daughter. Her daughter would ask her to go and fetch, fetch water for her in the middle of the night at the stream and she would go. It was painful, but at the same time, she was willing to be and then every time she would say i'm not complaining don't worry send me i'm not complaining i just thought i i just thought that was really like touching i was like oh it touched me now i'm not even going to say there are lots of flaws you would see in the movie like the part where she was pregnant and then there was a stomach you you know what kind of stomach is that what is that what is that you could see some of the flaws but Aside the flaws in the movie, like or also the part where she was at the stream and she wanted to break the course, there were flaws in all of those things. But, 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 leave the flaws aside. The movie in itself had a message to pass on to us. And you see, there's nothing wrong with minding your business, people of God. 
there is nothing wrong. people are trying out there like people are going through it they call this woman Byron so much so that she was willing to do anything just to have a child and I think it's unfair sometimes like the way we we talk at couples uh, when is the first baby coming after the first baby comes, uh -huh. when is the second baby coming mind your damn business you think they're not trying for babies or you think they don't have a life that they are living that they have to at least try and hustle no now no you guys will be doing as if no this thing this thing called life is 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 easy don't get me wrong but there are things that you are out of your control there are things you cannot personally handle like there are things that are way above your own pay grade and we make it look like oh you're supposed to know how to do it how magic i really enjoyed the movie and i felt like it was really it was subtle it was nice it was touching it was i don't know i just i, I mean for me i just i genuinely genuinely liked the movie and i would want you to also see it let me know what you think about it let us talk in the comment section as always if you've seen it tell me what you thought what you thought about it i genuinely enjoyed it and i'm going to give this movie an 8 over 10 because it was worth the watch yes let's not forget i said there were flaws there were flaws but it was worth it thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and come back again next week for another one